you have been interested in purchasing the system, you want to know how this is going to help and what this is going to do for your cl uh, clinic or your system, it will change everything. And I'm so looking forward to showing you how it does that. Hi, Dr. Hatch here, and this is my assistant, Kellett. We are representing Cognero. I am so pleased to share with you the invention that we created to make our current systems out there much better. We live in a high-tech uh, community, and we have to get better. And the great thing about Cognero, and the great thing with your purchase, is you will get constant updates and constant changes as we update hardware, as we update software, you will be getting that in your regular process and you look forward to a life of Cognero, this will be a game changer for your patients, for your life and the care that you're giving on a regular basis. And the best part about having both of us is that we have worked this together for the last three years with him helping out the patients with the testing, the system, how it's working and not, and me in the room figuring out how it all works. So let's get started on the demo. As you know, you're the beta team. And I say team because we need your feedback just as much as you are going to love this system. Is it perfect yet? No. Have I been running it in my clinic for four years? Yes. And have I been running this current headset that I have two systems in my office for an entire year? Yes. Do we have a lot more to add and a lot more to change over the next six months? Yes. And that's where we need your feedback. I need to know what you like and what you understand because the way I run my clinic, this is exactly what I needed in every way. Even though I have some changes and some design changes, there are things coming that are shifting, but we would love your feedback, which is why you're the beta team. Sometimes a headset will crash. Quickly disconnect, reboot, and it'll start right back up. You won't have a problem with it. And we will then fix that rebooting problem so we don't have to do that. We reboot maybe once a week, right? Occasionally, we've had days where we've had to reboot it three times. That's okay, it's really fast. This is not your old systems that crash and are broken forever. This system works amazing and you are about to see it. So as you can see, our current system, we have our headset, very simple, all encased, nothing to do for you other than clean the face shield as often as you need to clean this face shield. It has an adjustable strap and a tightening strap to get it to fit whatever your individual client or patient is using. It runs off of an amazing small little computer. So this can be used in your room, in your office with you, or as you can see, I have it in a separate room all by itself so that it can have the best experience for the user and the assistants while I'm in the office working on patients. And all you'll need is your iPad. The iPad will run everything for you. So we're gonna go through this right now. Welcome to Cognero. From that Cognero symbol, it'll come to this page. On this page, you have the ability to add any patient. Currently, we use a number system, but if you also use an alphabetical system like A, 2143 versus a B823 or a 2384B, you just let us know if we need to make some changes. Currently, our system's set up that if we search a person, we can enter the number and it's all a number digitized because that's how it works within our operating system and our current system. But we can make this and change this. We need feedback. Then you can have this number and put it in your paperwork with your existing patient and you assign it. Now the question is, my biggest favorite thing, what if you enter the wrong number? Or what if your staff enters the wrong number? Is it gone forever and now it's not like all the other current headsets? Nope. You can rename, reassign, delete, change anything. It's all you. It's incredible. So here we go. We're going to show you a current uh, patient um, that is here. I'm going to go back one. But as you can see on the bottom here, these are the most recent tests that were run. So if you can't remember what that patient is or your staff member can't remember a patient, but they just ran a test, you'll be able to search 
really quickly than searching it or adding it. So we just ran a test on Kellett, 1412. That's our number. It takes you to this page. This is their history of every test they've ever ran. And as you can see, we have had it for years. Again, this is not a joke. Everyone always thinks I haven't been doing this that long. But if we go back, let's see this date, December 2020. It's been 18 months on this current software system. It has been so amazing to have. And we've seen new things that we never saw before. So the amazing thing is, you, as you can see here, uh, this is look one. As you can see, there's different tests here. Uh, there's look, so it can show you all the looks. There's actually a move system that we have a gate analysis that you have sensors that go on the gate analysis. We have our own balance testing system because I want to incorporate all of our hardware so it all communicates together and it's all stored in one place and it gives the patient and the doctor the greatest user experience ever. But we have our own interactive metronome already assessed, used, and functions here in your doctor app version. And then you also have the tap standalone that allows your patients to download that and they can play it, use it, and send their information to you. Again, in our patient portal, that's also coming. That's also been being built for the last 18 months. We're just fine tuning it and don't worry, you will get it. What's great about this system is whatever you decided to purchase within the Cognero system, if it's look, if it's stand, if it's move, if it's tap, you have access to your experience and it will create the system for you. And it's amazing. Okay, so now as we talk about it again, for the beta specifically, if we're going back to look, you wanna know what your experience is. I'm gonna show you what that experience is like and how to do it. So as you can see, the green button down on the right, new exam plus, you'll click right on it. We have four different systems we can currently run. You right now will have access to Cogneuro Look, Cogneuro Tap already embedded in your system. And you're gonna select on the Look system. I currently have two headsets. Because we love to do pre and post tests, we actually run with multiple headsets in our office. And the system is so good that you can have as many headsets as you want in an office. If your office has need of 10 headsets, you can run all 10 headsets on your one system. This is one of the two headsets that are running all day, every day on our patients and it's amazing. Now, you'll select that. Now, here's your first experience. As you know, these are the 10 eye tests. D for darkness, GH for gaze horizontal, GV for gaze vertical, pursuit horizontal, pursuit vertical, Saccade horizontal, saccade vertical, OPK horizontal, OPK vertical, and yes, a VOR. Now, what's so incredible about this is when you are using it, sometimes, as you know, when it's a first patient, you just hit the select all button, which is at the top right, and it'll highlight all of them, and it goes instantly, continue, to the next step. We gotta see if the headset is aligned with the eye. So it just takes a couple seconds. It's processing, as you can see, you're seeing exactly what the iPad's gonna see, and then there's the headset. And if my hand goes in front of it, you can start to see my fingers. I'll show it when it's on uh, Kellett's face. But say you're like, oh man, I didn't want all those tests. Let's go back, cancel exam. It goes right back to new exam, hit the look, select it, and say I want gaze horizontal, OV, and VOR. You just select the individual test you want, and then you go right into it, and it'll always do it in order. You won't be able to do VOR before GH. I put it in the order of less daunting on the brain. So I have my direct order of what I've been studying and researching, and that's how we created our program. So again, if you ever want to unselect, you can unselect. You can also just double tap it again. If you're like GV and PH, oh, I didn't want GV. That's okay. Just select the given test that you want and hit continue. So if we hit a select all and we go to continue, here is your test, it'll pop up. I'm not gonna put his headset on it right now because I just wanna show you something. And then we'll put it on and I'll show you why I do this. So you align the headset, the eyeballs, you want the pupil within the range. So if I hit start exam, the first exam will always be darkness, but it's going through each individual test. 
So your staff, you or the staff will know where they are in the test. And it just keeps going. And when it's done and it's played, it provides a check mark and it moves to the next one. If you're only doing darkness and saccade vertical, it'll just show those two in the middle. The test is going right now. Yes, it's not on a headset, so it, it won't track pupil, but it's running the test. So going back, we just end exam. Now, if you end exam, the check mark means that's saved. If it's not a check mark, it's not saved. Now, what's incredible, as you can see, we've done three eye tests now on him. Here's where that one has nothing, right? So I wanna show you this. If I long hold on it, it will give me an option to delete or reassign. The reassign is incredible because if I put it on a new patient and it was just written wrong by your staff, you can go right here to reassign patient, click on either A, the add new. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Just X out. I need it on an existing patient, so I'm going to add it to my current one. And now that test is gone. It's now actually in mine. So if I go back, you see the one down here, because it's my, it was mine. I was the first user, I was the first experience, and there's all the tests. So if we go back, I can then long hold that, delete, but what if I wrong? <gasps> That's okay. It has a confirm yes or no, and then I hit delete. Now, if it's gone forever, and you're like, my assistant deleted the wrong one, oh my gosh. <gasps> We have a backup system. If you go back and you hit the top three buttons on the top right, click on the recycle bin, and you'll see anything that has been deleted in the last 30 days that you can recover at any time. And again, as you can see, it's right here. And that was actually in 1229.20, so it starts at the beginning, so you gotta scroll down. And as you can see, here's the most recently deleted one, and it's there and then I can click on this button, and when you click on it, it retrieves it from the recycle bin. Isn't that great? So again, you always have access back, and you just hit the back button. So again, we're gonna go through this, because I wanna show you something really cool about the VOR. So let's go to a new exam. I wanna show you this. Look, select two. We're gonna do darkness and VOR. And I wanna show you this because you're gonna see this all in lifetime, so Let's have uh, Kellett go ahead and put the headset on. It's very simple. In the beginning, you beta test. The uh, nose is a little pressured on the nose because everyone's a little different. And I have a program that I'm redesigning it so it will be super comfortable. Some kids just complain about it and they'll feel a little claustrophobic because it's around their nose. Just tell them to breathe through their mouth. They're fine. As you can see, here's the eyes. If the eyes are off, we just tell them to look up or look down. And then we start the exam. Now again, it goes instantly to darkness and it's just gonna be a blacked out screen. It's completely dark in there. So ideally you'll dim the lights if there's any light, just because some people's faces are shaped differently, but you can always be in a lit room and it's still pitch black darkness in there. Now, I wanted to show you this because it's check mark, which means it's saved. For the VOR, remember the VOR, we're testing the vestibular ocular reflex. So we're spinning them in a chair. Right now in our current office, it's test is about 25 seconds. So we go right, left, right, left, center. And then I have multiple views of that. If you wanna just do a head turn or a head turn, that's completely up to you as the doctor user. But notice, it gives me an option to begin the VOR so it doesn't just start recording and a staff member is like, oblivious to what's going on. And then you'll know, it'll say exercises beginning and it's just calibrating, now run. And that gives the uh, assistant time to walk over behind the person, wait till it says running, and then it begins the turn, right, left, right, left, and back to center. How we do that specifically. Then that will end and then it goes to view results. You can go ahead and take the headset off, Kelly. Thank you so much. And in the view results, it's processing. This is a list. I will go back to his previous one. We don't need that one, so we're pushing on the second one. This is all the tests. This is how many the eyes moved. This is how many blinks the individual did. This is how many convergence, right? We know we don't like convergence. So those are instantly, we should never go cross-eyed. So on the saccade vertical and the pursuit horizontal, 
his eyes went into convergence spasm. And I'll show you this. This is so incredible what we created. If you have the program that chooses exercises, you will click on the exercise one and it will generate all the brain exercises for each finding of each test. Now this will get mastered and then eventually you have a results page that's even better, but I'm just showing you that it's there. So you can A, click more details and it goes right to the program. It starts with darkness. You can also click if you just wanted to see OH, you can long hold directly on OH, O-P-K-H, and you can go right there. It'll go right to the OPK horizontal, and here's your results page. So here's the eyes. It has the video. You can play top left. It has BCM for blink, convergence, and movement. And what I wanted to know is how many movements were up and down, how many movements were left and right. It's quantified for you as well as you get to see the graph and you get to see the function of it. It also has a scrub right here, so if you pause, this green, you can scrub it to, I wanna watch it right here. I wanna see what happens right there. Boom, I can see the eyes and be like, okay, let's play that back. You can scrub and play as much as you want. Now that's the fun part, and as you can see, all the, the tests are right here. So you don't have to go back or search bar or do anything else. You just click right on darkness and you go directly to the darkness test and it's going to tell you this individual jumped to the left twice. We did that on purpose so you guys can see it. It's not because Kellett has a broken brain. We wanted you to see what it looks like. So right eye is red line, blue line is left eye, and the green is the ideal. Patients always want to know what should it look like and we're always like, well, it should look like this. We don't have something for them, so we created something that will. Eventually, you'll be able to long hold on the um, graph, and this graph will blow up. Right now, I love seeing it all in one. Some of you might be like, well, I want to see just what the left eye does. I want to see what the right eye does. You will have the ability to toggle right, toggle left, toggle horizontal, toggle vertical. If you'd like, I personally love to see it all one time. I can see the whole story in one shot. And I'm going to show you here something that's really awesome. One of my favorite things of here is you can see looking up, I mean, up is to the right, down is to the left, just like every graph, horizontally, up is right, down is left, vertical, up is up, down is down. This is a timestamp, and then these are degrees of movement. So you can see how much a square wave jerk is. As we know in the research, micro square wave jerk versus a macro square wave jerk is based on whether it's larger or smaller than four degrees. So before you never knew if this was a macro saccade or a micro saccade, you were just looking at it and going, yeah, okay, I kind of understand this. Now we have the degrees at which it moves so we can measure it exactly. But now you can tell exactly how a brain is doing. This is my favorite part. You can actually long hold the GH and go find any test to compare to. So as you can see, this individual has done more GH tests than anything, and they're all there. It's not like you're looking at a down drop box and it's not working, like how quickly can you do it? And you could jump to any of them. I can jump to just earlier today and compare, what does that test look like? Okay, here's the movement left, movement right. It's all within range. As you can see, here's two blinks. It shows the blinks really good. And it's like, okay, I wanna go back you just long hold and go back to the previous date. You can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and see them very quickly and very smoothly exactly the way that we want to see them as docs. And then as you can see, you can go through each one of the individual tests, right? We have graphs a little differently in the pursuits than the slow sinusoidal wave. Ours are very precise because it's computer generated because what are our kids looking at all day? They're on a computer and we're seeing major breakdowns in brain, but when you look at a test that's like just real life, slowing it down, speeding up, you, you, you miss a couple things. With the complex cases, having the pursuits be right on is really, really, really remarkable for us as a clinician. So again, this is horizontal pursuit and this is vertical pursuit. And again, it has the BCM and the, and the M breakdown and tells you where the breakdowns are and we know which areas of the brain need exercise. Which exercises will help it and we can pre and post check as often as we want.
Sure. This has been so fulfilling for me as a clinician. And now you know exactly what to expect with patients. You can show them what's great because it's on the iPad. In the beta uh, system, you can just take a quick screenshot, send it on to their cell phone. They can share it with their friends, loved ones, whatever. You can make a quick video if you wanted. You could do a screen recording, talk over it. You have all of that ability right here in the palm of your hand, so to speak. So this is how Cognero Look works. It's how it's used. It's how I use it every day and patients are loving it. There's a lot coming to this. We just want to make it the best user experience for the uh, doctor or clinician and the user and their loved ones and friends. Now, for those of you that chose the exercise plan, eventually the exercise plan will do it for you. It will say this test was bad, let's apply this exercise and retest. You will know exactly if this exercise will fix that area of the brain or not. That's why we love this assessment, this system, because it's extremely user friendly and extremely shareable in every way. Thank you for being a Cognero support and we look forward to your feedback and get started today.